One of the things I wanted to do with it was put a wood shed above it, and I wanted to make the shed by hand, as much of it as I could. Um, so to make this simple, our shed fell over. <laughs> I know how hard Matt and Knox have been working on it. I know how excited Joe's been. I just, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe seeing that. On last week's episode, you saw Joe go up and buy the sawmill. And we are rolling to get the wood miser LT140. So excited! Bring it back, cut a bunch of logs, and, and get ready to start building the protective shed that he wants built to cover the saw. This week, you guys get to see the shed being built by none other than Matt and Knox. That in, and then a post close to the, probably the saw, like the head, mm -hmm. and then come all the way out here with another post and put LBL across this. I'd like to build you a sliding door mm -hmm. that opens for loading the log and for, for you know taking the wood off. I thought a barn door here and a barn door here, which is in a wall off here. So you can hang up all the blades. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're going to need several different blades and interchange them. I have them, them all. Jeep invasion. Jeep invasion yeah. You ever been? No. There's a lot of Jeeps. Hey, I ain't never been, but I've seen pictures and videos of people. It's about like truck week. They're, they're, they're good. Way another.
odd week, the frame was finally put together and it was time to move on to the routine. talk we got to talk about what happened at the ranch oh with the, with the building with the building well we're gonna have to go get a whiskey for that i don't think we have any whiskey we're gonna sit down for this one where do you want me to begin i haven't even seen it yet it's not fair i've just you seen saw it. i've seen the pictures and i went out and filmed it Man, so I was going into work today, got to the office, talked to a few of the guys, and I heard the bad news. Uh, the mill building, the mill shed that we've been making out of the wood that we're cutting ourselves, it uh, blew over. And uh, so drove up to the ranch, pulling up to it now, and I assessed the damage. I mean, this, this sucks. Oh. Ow. Are you kidding me? What in the world? On top of the skid steer? Just let, let everybody kind of know what's going on first. Oh. All right, so you guys haven't seen this yet, I don't think. Yeah, the wood miser. You've seen the wood miser video. So I got this new LT40 wood miser saw that I'm super stoked about. I've uh, been cutting a bunch of different lumber on the farm. One of the things I wanted to do with it was put a wood shed above it, and I wanted to make the shed by hand, as much of it as I could. Um, so to make this simple, our shed fell over. <laughs> It's no one's fault, it's no fault to Matt, but um, we took the braces off for the weekend to put some gravel around it.
was a little wobbly. Um, everybody thought it was braced up enough without having sides on it that it wouldn't catch enough wind to fall over. Matt had just put the roof on it. It was a hot week. He wasn't feeling good. Um, Knox and him were like this this week. Never seen it so bad. Knox is scared of heights. Like he'd come up the ladder to bring me some screws and the ladder would be like, so, yeah. Knox, yeah, get off the ladder. <laughs> like, he'd just like shaking. His knees would be buckling. He's so, so scared of heights. Um, on the second step, that's right, Knox. You can call it step two, and you need yeah. to start going. So I had to help out a little bit. I wasn't much help either. I was so busy, but I tried to step in and help on some of the roof stuff. The why it fell. I mean, the real reason is we used some lightweight brackets in um, a sauna tube. So we took like a 24 inch auger and augered out in the ground, put a sauna tube in it, like two foot in the ground, two foot out of the ground, poured that with concrete, and then we wet set these six by six brackets. But they only go up to six by six like that far. We've used them before. I mean, they work, but they're kind of chinky. The other ones had a long wait time, like a hundred bucks a piece. And uh, so, you know, we, we work with what we have. So we only had like meat and the screw was only like in the meat of the six by six, like that far down. And I think it just, everything had just a little bit of play in it. Sunday I called Matt, I almost put supports on it. I should have. High sight 2020. I mean, we all would have done it, but I mean, I really should have done it. Um, I take the fault for it. I didn't, I knew it was wobbly. I didn't put kickers on it, but it was hard to put the rock around the shed with all the supports on it. So Matt took them off. But then after I put the rock and compacted it, it was really hard to put them back in the ground. So I was like, ah, I want to go get a saw and cut lumber and then actually put the permanent supports on it. We're taking at least half a day I had at least a day and a half on my plate already. The baler was broke. The, it just it was a lot of stuff going on on the ranch right now that's, uh, let's just say, less than desirable. It's no one's fault. It's just really busy. Um, our equipment's too big for our tractor. We're breaking our tractor. We don't have enough horsepower, and it's, it's just it's causing me a lot of problems with hay. Again, still doing hay. You can hear it. It's going to last all summer, guys. Just get used to this voice. Um, so anyway, the gist of it is our wood miser shed has fallen over the wood miser on the skid steer. It has completely uh, knocked off the breather on both the skid steer and the saw. Um, I had the lid over the controls open because it was under cover. It sheared the key off and that's all I've been told. I don't know. I haven't seen it. The guys took some six by sixes off of it. Zach might have got pictures of it before that happened. Um, I've seen the pictures after that happened. I haven't been back there yet. I'm committing to not looking at it all week. It's just not going to be my problem. That's that's where I'm leaving it. Um, we're supposed to go to the Bahamas in the week. Supposed to have hay up. Everybody's going to have to work hard, extra time. I hate it. I've canceled every trip to include my anniversary to try to make things happen, and I'm just not changing my life schedule anymore. So I'm committing to this. I'm going down. Louis just called me a minute ago. Yep. Said the boat's almost ready. Got to help him put some. Um, we're gonna take the props off, take the shafts off, put some seals on it, put the props back on, and then go to the Bahamas. Uh, so I'll, I'll record some on that. Maybe Zach will share that trip, but I'm excited to get out of here. So unfortunately, um, that is where that left off. And we're gonna go uh, show you the wood miser now. So I'm sure you saw a little teaser of it, and I'm sure he's gonna put this in front of you seeing the whole thing. So the good, the bad, the ugly, we show it all. Uh, we appreciate your support. Um, we don't hide anything from you. We show you our mistakes. I'm sure there'll be lots of people commenting on what was gone wrong here. We weren't done. Um, we did have a plan to put some concrete or some treated six by sixes in concrete and do some lean twos and other support structures to add a little bit of support. But I wanted to keep all the wood off the ground and keep airflow moving, get dust out. You can tell I'm very allergic to dust and stuff now for some reason. Bad business to be in. <laughs> So we show it to you all, the good, the bad, and I just want to let you know that uh, we are going to rebuild it. It'll be stronger, it'll be bigger, it'll be better. That's what we do. We don't give up. Uh, Country Boy will survive, and uh, we're going to get this thing back up in the air and get on to our now episode two. We just wanted to go ahead and get episode one out. We thought this thing falling on the ground would give you a nice pause, a chance to see something get done. Hope you get to see us milling some wood. Thank you for your support. I cannot do this without you. Please. Go check out the McKinley Excavating page. If you're watching this on McKinley Excavating, please go check out our JNS Ranch page. It's two different kinds of content, both equally filmed with quality. 
but we really appreciate your support. Again, we could not do that. You smash that like button. Stay tuned. Yeah. Yeah. It knocked it off, but it didn't break any glass or nothing like that. Uh, I mean, in hindsight, it's 2020. I, I've taken all the metal off. I've already got all the metal off of it, and I think maybe two pieces of metal were messed up. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be able to reuse 90% of these one by. I mean, it just sucks having to take the whole freaking thing apart again, but everything's gonna be reasonable. As Matt and Knox begin to disassemble the fallen roof to try and salvage as much wood as possible, they get a call from Sarah that a horse has gotten outside of the fence and is in the neighbor's yard. Don't got no heart, I got an ice box. Knox, what do we have going on right now? Uh, we got a horse that got out. It's a normal day out here. Got him right here, nice. You there? Our neighbor hero. Oh, did you? I went down to the barn. Uh, there's a young lady down there having her horse shod. And, okay. And uh, she, I guess she called Sarah. Yeah. I said, I'll go up here and stay with you for a few minutes. And Zach, this is, uh, hey Zach, Ken Stutz. Ken brother. Stutz. Pleasure to meet you. Nice. Uh, Knox, right? Yes, sir. It's good to see you. That's where we had good to have good neighbors. Absolutely. As he passed, he saw him and called. Beautiful an animal. Yeah. He's old, bless his heart. You think it was him? I don't know why. I guarantee you. Right well, the rest of his butt. Here, hold that right there. I'm going to go yeah. check out. Right the rest of his buddies are right there. Hey, brother, uh, I got a roll. You don't All right, thank you, sir. I think I need to probably just see how they probably just pick this sucker up and walk underneath it. I need to put some T posts in there. and Right here is older man Zach put together. Yeah. <laughs> Looks heavy. Drives them right in. So these are fence wire ties. We're just gonna put on, hold this with bob wire out in place. Never fails, you bark on one project, and something else comes up. Always. I'm sure especially in your line of work. I feel like it's definitely always something. After Matt finishes fixing the fence, he heads back to the fallen shed to get ready to build back better than ever. I literally can't believe that. Just checked out the shed. And you can tell where the uh, six by sixes were bolted to wherever cemented into the ground. Uh, that that metal layer that was just connecting the bolt and the wood and everything just completely ripped away. I mean, the wind must have been blowing like crazy last night or whenever that happened. I just I I can't believe that happened. I hate I hate that happens. I know how hard Matt and Knox have been working on it. I know how excited Joe's been. I just, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. <laughs>